so my video reaction to this one uh, is not going to go up there because my entire computer shut down about the 10 minute mark and I'm not doing that again. Uh, so I uh, missed some really good points in there. I'll just go over what I said in the video using the notes I used that no one could really see except for me here. Uh, Love Retribution's new look. I like the names. I was bored by what they said. Uh, MVP's people's eyebrow during this segment was really cool. Uh, this I'm not doing the 10-minute thing over again. I'm going to go through this real fast. Tag match. Uh, I didn't understand why they couldn't put uh, the break the breakups and come back together on a three-hour show. It is right. They broke up last week and they, they're coming together this week. I didn't understand why that happened. Uh, I love Street Profits on commentary. That was really good. Uh, it made up for the lack of crowd reaction because they were like oohing and aahing in the middle of it. Seth leaving the middle of the match was typical Seth. Uh, he had a lot in his mind. My ass. He had like, yeah, right, sure. Um, uh, this um, Angel Garza stared at Street Profits the entire time uh, during the, the wing breaker and during the pen. That was awesome. Uh, Murphy had the greatest sell job I ever seen. He looked like a looked like a coffin dropping. It was really good. I went into detail in the video, but I'm not going to do that here. Uh, uh, I love B B Peyton and Billy's new look. Uh, Billy's new look is also on Instagram as well. Um... I was laughing my ass off at the ref that botched the, uh, the match for Mickey James was not seen in the show at all this week. Uh, Mickey made a nod in reference to the referee screwing up last week, and thus we didn't see him this week. Maybe he got suspended. I went into video and detail with speculations, but I'm not going to do that here. Um, I love Zelina Vega's spider-like moves. It was really cool. Um, she, I'm guessing they gave her a, a back, a backstabber because she's Latino, like her, like Carlito. Maybe that's for the reason why they gave that to her. Fucking racist over there. Uh, the Hurt Business, the boss beating up a whole bunch of, uh, retribution guys in the back. Uh, the East, I went into really long detail about this one, but I'm not going to do that here. I'll just put it this way. Uh, Bianca Belair, uh, with the segments in the, in the, in the promo, she didn't need to, they didn't need to fake that. She's really good at what she did. I'm not going to go into why again here. Um, 24 seven at the beach. It was, it was different and that's okay with me. That's all I got to say about that one. Uh, MVP gave the signal for, uh, uh, signal for the Hurt Locker move, uh, the full Nelson, and uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do it again here, but uh, the there's there was so much detail in that segment, which I went into in the video, exactly what you need to look at, I'm not going to do that here, let's just put it this way, look at everything, I looked at that thing about 10 times, really good, really good uh, Phil Nelson job, uh, Bronze Intensity, and the Raw Underground was really good, I love this promo work, looked really intense, holy shit, uh, Seth Mori Povich, but it was to uh, plant seeds. Good job by them. Um, I didn't like uh, Peyton Royce versus Asuka because Peyton was smiling too much on defense. When you're getting beat up there, you're not smiling. On offense, you're smiling because you're arrogant. On defense, you're smiling. That was stupid. And I hated how they protected uh, both of them, uh, more or less Peyton, by having um, uh, Vega, Vega come in there and screw it up. That was ridiculous. And right when I said Vegas screwed it up, that's when my computer blew, uh, blew up right there. Uh, just shut off completely. Um, the Aaliyah and Murphy storyline continues. I like the way she was scurrying away from, from Murphy like as if she was scared. That was really cool. So that's it for my raw review. Overall, I did like the show. That's it for now. Clack off.